Hi everyone! Welcome to the latest Simulacrum Showcase of Tower of Fantasy. Today we'll be introducing Asurada, who fights using three blades at once. His triple blade weapon is called Hellfire. It has a high flame attack stat with constant fixed damage, which means that Asurada is the new on-field DPS for the fire team. Let's learn more about him. All of Asurada's battle mechanisms rely on the effect of his weapon skills. So let's start with that. Asurada's weapon skills will inflict damage and gain a damage boost. It will also get a crucial status from Asurada. Roleplay. Roleplay allows Asurada to create an afterimage and launch a coordinated attack when he uses normal or dodge attacks, including various attacks and branch attacks. The afterimage's coordinated attack is the main source of Asurada's damage. A maximum of five afterimages can exist at once. Various branch attacks can also create afterimages, but the fastest way to generate five afterimages is to finish the five-stage ground normal attack. Note that if you use a certain normal attack strike repeatedly, the afterimage summoned from the previous attack instance will disappear before reappearing. So you cannot summon five afterimages by using the first part of the normal attack five times. The same applies to other branch attacks. By the way, Asurada's normal attack branch triggers a rich variety of combo gameplay. It's really fun. Be sure to give it a try. His dodge attack branch is a crucial part of Asurada's combat techniques. Besides the usual pre-dodge and post-dodge attacks, Asurada can also perform two other types of dodge attacks by either holding down the dodge button or double tapping it. If you hold down the dodge button, Asurada will use the skill Unstoppable Momentum to charge forward. When Unstoppable Momentum is activated, all afterimages on the field will also trigger Unstoppable Momentum in unison and focus their attacks on the target. Please remember that all the afterimages will disappear after this attack, unless the target is killed by this attack. Then, the duration of all the afterimages will reset, allowing them to respond to the next Unstoppable Momentum. The second type of dodge is the double tap dodge. This dodge branch can be used either in Asurada's normal state or in his roleplay state, triggered by weapon skills. The double tap dodge in Asurada's normal state is a damage skill and has no special effects, but if Asurada uses the double tap dodge while he is in his roleplay state, he will activate Up to the Skies, which launches and suspends enemies in the air and draws in nearby targets. At the same time, all after images on the field will use unstoppable momentum on the targets. As we mentioned before, the after images will immediately disappear after using unstoppable momentum, unless the enemy is killed, which will reset the duration of the after images. Also tap normal attack immediately after using up to the skies to activate falling star impact, so Asurada will plunge down to deal more damage. If there's any after images on the field when Asurada plunges down, it will also use unstoppable momentum in a coordinated attack, as you already know. In actual combat, try to trigger the afterimages coordinated unstoppable momentum attacks by holding down the dodge button. This lets Asurada move on to his next set of ground normal attacks faster, resulting in higher DPS. Next, let me tell you about the star rating of Asurada. At one star, the damage of the afterimages coordinated attack is increased. At three star, the damage of unstoppable momentum increases based on the number of afterimages on the field, reaching its maximum value at five afterimages. At five star, Asurada will gain a shield upon triggering unstoppable momentum, which helps with his survivability. At six star, the final damage increase triggered by his weapon skills is further enhanced. A zero star Asurada already has the full package, but upgrading him to a three star will significantly increase his damage. Okay. Now let's take a look at his actual combat and weapon combinations. For players seeking higher damage, pair Asurada with GU for a damage boost and off-field damage, and a high damage buff weapon like Nola or Nan Yin. In terms of combat loot, start with GU's discharge skill before using Nola's skills, before finally switching to Asurada as an on-field DPS. Asurada's combat rotation is, use his weapon skill, his five-stage normal attack, then hold down the dodge button to trigger the after image's unstoppable momentum. After that, continue the rotation with normal attacks. Switch to Nola to recharge his skill status during the rotation.
That's all for Acerata's showcase. Thanks for watching.